All right, so episode four now of my adventures with Superman and what I thought. So episode four is a bit of a mixed bag, in my opinion. Um, let me move over a little bit so you can get a better look of me. Um, episode four was a bit of a mixed bag. Um, we kind of see, so we see Superman meet Dr. Ivo, who is, in the comics, he created Amazo, which Amazo is this android who is able to absorb the powers of anybody that he fights, um, you know, mainly the Justice League, that's why he's such an incredible foe. Uh, but it almost seems like th in this episode, they kind of let Dr. Ivo... And Amazo, kind of, they kind of put them into the same character, because that's kind of what he does. Is he has this suit that allows him to take the powers from other people. So that's an interesting take. It's different, um, but it's an interesting take. Uh, I'm kind of trying to not like bash the show as much for not adapting so much from the comics. Um, I I'm trying to do more of like okay it was it's different but it's you know an interesting take um i do think it i do still think that the way that lois acts in this show is still just too too weird for me like i don't know if like regular whether you want to say comic book lois or any Lois, any other incarnation of Lois Lane, I can't imagine that, especially as early on in her career as she is now in this show, that if she was given the opportunity to be a reporter and she was given a job, that she would really throw it away and throw away the stuff that her boss told her to ask and to talk about for her own stuff. I, I don't see her doing that in the original in like like her character I don't see her character doing that in the original not at this point in her career I think maybe if she wanted to do those kinds of stories like later on where she's more confident she's more established etc and she knows she'll be able to yeah but I think regular Lois would know like that she has to do these kinds of stories in the beginning of her career because that's just how you do it right that's just how it goes I don't know if she would just... Because that's the one thing about this Lois that's really just kind of blowing my mind is she just keeps doing whatever she wants to do all the time. She's she's a very rebellious Lois Lane in this. But that's another thing I find interesting is the show is almost very self-aware in the fact that they know that this version of Lois is supposed to be not attractive. And that's kind of... That's kind of weird. That's a very different take on Lois. Lois was never like, man, she's dropped it gorgeous. But Lois was always somebody who, you know, would make it take a double take or would, uh, you know, catch your eye. And then you find out she's a reporter and you're like, oh, you know, kind of made you think, think about it. But in this, they, they like, there's a scene where Clark is talking to Ivo and Ivo basically promises him a night with one of, you know, the most, be you know, beautiful women. And it shows all these women. And it, Lois is in the background. And he's like, oh, not her. I don't know what she's doing there. But definitely not somebody of her caliber or whatever. And that's an interesting take. That's a very interesting take. I've never seen a incarnation of Lois that's narratively deemed unattractive. I haven't seen that take done in many incarnations of super of the Superman mythos. So again, it's different. I don't do I like it? I really don't think so. I really I really don't I really disagree with that because it's like I don't know, I really disagree with that. I don't know. Uh, another thing is Superman and Lois's or Clark Clark and Lois's relationship in this I, okay, this episode felt so rushed. So, so rushed, this episode. And I don't know what their hurry is. 
like Lois and Clark's relationship finally like blossomed in this. Like they they go from flirting and touching in like you know putting their hands on each other like just one at one by one to Lois just outright kisses him on the cheek at the end twice twice I felt I felt that in and of itself was already like whoa we sped this along right um but at the end spo spoilers but at the end of the episode she finds out she pieces it together in her brain that Clark is Superman. Whoa! That's like, dude, we're four episodes in. Slow that down. Why does she know that he's Superman already? There's so many incarnations of, of the Superman story where Lois doesn't find out who Superman is until they're like almost married. You know? They're, like, this was very early that they that she found out now i don't know what's gonna happen next episode or like if he's gonna deny it or what's gonna happen but that's pretty crazy that she connected that and that she i don't know this whole episode just felt so rushed and uh professor ivo in the episode like again I, I, like, I don't know what the point of him was. Like, that's what every episode is. is every episode is, is like a villain of the week that it leads to nothing. You know, it's like, this, this, what did this episode really accomplish other than <clears throat> Lois and, and, and Jimmy and Clark were given, given a chance to do an, you know, an investigation thing and it was with Professor Ivo. But I feel like all of that was just an excuse to kind of speed along Lois and Clark's relationship. Which ended up just having Lois find out that Clark was Superman. But not by him telling her. She f pieced all this stuff together and... I don't know. I think... I don't know, I don't know what they're going for here. I really don't. Um... Not too much to talk about in this episode. Because again, this was really just the most bare bones plotted episode with Yeah, like they get this project and they have to go see Doctor Doctor Ivo and Doctor Ivo ends up doing a scheme to get Superman to come out and of course Clark does the runaway and Superman's there like you know, there now thing shtick. And then Superman wins and Lois and Clark's relationship, you know, blossoms and and that's another thing is there's not too many incarnations of Superman where Lois and Clark hit it off. Like this is this the way that this I don't know. It doesn't the, the relationship doesn't feel too genuine. Like the chemistry that they have it's like I don't know, I honestly, I don't know what Lois sees in Clark, other than that he's, fair, like, a fairly built, like, somewhat attractive person. Because he's, he's, as Clark, he's clumsy, he's always falling over himself, he's, you know, and of course some girls can see, you know, that type of guy as being attractive, but the the type of woman that Lois Lane is in the comics and is in the animated series and is in the movies is is she's just you know I don't know she she eventually falls for Clark but it always takes like a long time they really sped this along and I I I don't know I just feel like that was rushed for like no reason they had so much time Unless they plan on going somewhere with this. But even still. I can't imagine that. I don't know. I don't know where they're going with this. But anyways, guys. There's not too much to talk about. Because the, there just nothing happened in this episode. Other than that. You know. And it was rushed. But what did you guys think of the episode? Comment down below. Let me know. And like always, I will catch you guys in the next video.